Good morning, Beer Bomb. Uh, this is our last announcement of the school year. That is incredibly exciting. Um, we uh, have two and a half more days of school. So kids, remember that on Wednesday, we do have an early dismissal. So we will be leaving school early on Wednesday at 12.55. So make sure your parents know that so that you're not stuck here with us the whole day. Who wants to stay here after school? Might be out? the whole summer with it being the last you day. You might have to. That being said, as you can see behind us, we have a roller coaster. The reason why I have a roller coaster is this year we're gonna do things a little bit different. Instead of having, a, we didn't have a picnic here at school at the end of the year, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a back to school picnic when we come back to school on August 8th. Well, we don't come back to school on August 8th, but on August 8th, we will have our back to school picnic from two to eight o'clock here. You can buy the tickets for the rides here at that time. That'll also be the day that you'll get to be able to find out who your teacher is for next year. So if you come out on August 8th, you'll find out before anyone else who your teacher's gonna be for the next school year. So we hope to see all of you uh, there. Mr. Birch, or Mr. Morris, <laughs> is here with the birthdays and events for the week. All right, so we only have a couple birthdays because it's kind of a short week. Um, starting today, my buddy Kaylee Fisher, her birthday's today. Uh, then we have, starting tomorrow, Matteo Dermishi, Asma Sharifi, Olivia Derby, Lawrence Lampazzi, and Maya Riley, and then of course we have so many birthdays over the summertime. I would read them all, but that would take all morning. So happy birthday if your birthday's this week. Happy birthday to those of you who have a summer birthday, kind of like Mr. Morris does. Um, so events this week, like Mr. Birch said, it is our final week. Our yeah, final week. Uh, today we have award ceremonies going on all day in the um, gym. So your grade level will come down. We'll recognize your academic achievements for this year. Tomorrow is career day. Mr. Perkins and Ms. Blanchett have worked really hard to put together a fantastic career day for you. And then as Mr. Birch said a moment ago, Wednesday is our final day. It is an early dismissal day. Make sure that you know how you are getting home that day. Because like Mr. Birch said, we don't want your summer vacation to begin here at Beer Bomb. Um, and then it's not on my list, but let's go ahead and make Thursday our first day of summer. Just a national day of sleep for all those very tired teachers and very tired students who have worked so hard all this year. So the last thing is I wanted to make sure that we take a second to thank all you students for all the amazing hard work you've done this year. Um, you have learned a lot. You are have grown a lot as students and as, as people, and we are incredibly proud of you. But I know Mr. I can speak for Mr. Morris that we um, feel very lucky to be your principals and to be here at this school with all of you. So we hope you have an amazing summer. Go out and do a lot of fun things. Make sure you remember to read this summer. Try to find time every day to read a little bit. Find a book that you like, read through it. Um, that way when you come back in August, you'll be ready to go. All right, so the final joke, Mr. Morris, here's yes. the question. Why did the broom have to go to summer school? I don't Why know. did the broom, I'll say okay, it again. Okay. Why did the broom have to go to summer school? This better be funny. You've been telling me about this joke all it's weekend. It's a good joke. Okay, I don't know. Why did the broom have to go to summer school? Because it was always sweeping in class. Guys, have a great week. We'll see you in August, guys.